in the place they call the United Center. In Chicago, the home of the Bulls, where today we'll be broadcasting live with Greg Anthony and Doris and nothing. Well, guys, Carl. Outstanding, D.A., thank you. Well, we're about halfway through the season now, Doris. It's no longer new. The playoffs are still a ways Ready, away. Gentlemen. Seems Ready. like uh, a time when players can start to lose focus. No doubt, Kevin. You have that sense that maybe the All-Star break is coming or going, and you still have that <laughs> fight you've got to get through, the, the February, March doldrums. But this is why coaches always talk about let's play in the moment. Let's not worry about the results. What you can do every day, each day, each moment. When you can do those kinds of things and just lock in on small tasks then you've got a team that can contend good coaches always seem to uh, steer their teams in the right direction at this time of the year all right let's set the floor courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go on the court for Minnesota Teague is at the point with Wiggins at the two Gibson plays the four with Towns in the middle and it's Covington in at the three spot Parker kicks to Allen it's over Covington. Allen, that's good. Allen's got his first basket of the night. Well, you can talk to anyone involved with this franchise, and they'll all tell you the player putting the most hours in the gym is AI. He is always there. And AI knows that it's the best way to make sure he keeps improving his game. The moment you stop trying to improve in the NBA is the moment the lead passes you by. Don attacking. Parker with no one around. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Boy, they're just giving him that shot. An easy opportunity for three just slips away. Passes it to Teague. And here's Covington from the arc. No good. Shot missing. So the Bulls will take it the other way. Last time they came together was in Minnesota, where they felled the Bulls. Yeah, and they got beat last time these two teams met, and really, free throws were the story. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Coming into this, having notched a win against Cleveland in their last game. They executed on the road, stayed focused, stayed consistent with who you are as a team. No doubt. I mean, they played to their strengths, and that's what helped them get this road win. I loved how they played for each other. That's tipped. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Just five to shoot. Teague for three. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Teague. And for a look at how the competition stacks up right now. These, the new power rankings, they tell a great story. Look at the Trailblazers. They're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. And right now, Chicago, they've come out with a vengeance. I don't care what anyone said about them or their chances to start the year. Now let's see if they can maintain this momentum. Towns with the steal. Teague against Dunn. Teague kicks to Covington. Wiggins right side. And he drops in the way up off the glass. A good score inside for a three-man. I mean, Wiggins can beat you with his back to the basket or facing up. Pass to Parker. To the middle. Poke loose. It's stolen by T. And the pass to Covington. The three. Here's Gibson. And the bucket counts. Three-point chance here. Well, Taj Gibson is so strong on the backboards. His ability to pursue the offensive glass is truly a thing to watch. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And his free throws are falling at a rate of only about 72% on the season. Not terrible, but listen, you obviously would expect him to do better. Back to Allen. Poked away. Allen against Covington. Stolen by Levine. Inside. Here's Dunn. Goes to the reverse layup and taps it in. Dunn's got his first bucket of the night. Boy, how much do you appreciate Chris Dunn working hard inside to come away with these easy interior buckets? 
Wiggins surveying the floor. This is the tee. Shot clock at six. Rebound by Parker. Parker's got four rebounds in this game. And looking at Jabari Parker, six foot eight, about 250 pounds. Greg, what's his best position? You know, I think he has a small forward skill, but with the way the game is changing, you could see him play some power forward as well. And I think his best fit might just be at the four because of the mismatch he can create. Well, spacing the floor with Levine hitting from range, the offense benefits greatly. Outside Teague, he kicks to Towns. Here's Wiggins. Here's Gibson, and he converts the layup. Gibson's got five. Boy, Taj Gibson unafraid in the face of contact. How tough is this guy? Don attacking. Plays it up and banks it in. Boy, he's able to get to the hoop, Kev, because of that great, solid screen. Timberwolves trail by five. Now T. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Oklahoma City. And it goes down two points. Well, a point guard must understand window of opportunity, and Jeff Teague specializes in exactly that. Parker outside. That's in, coming off an assist from Dunn. Parker's got his first points of the game. Yeah, boy, it never gets old watching this guy go to work at the offensive end. He's so gifted. Covington finds Gibson. Back to Covington, and he goes strong with the one-handed jam. Well, the big man, Taj Gibson, pretty assist there, Kevin. The Bulls leading by three. Dunn passes the court. Back to Dunn. Addition now to Allen. Carter at the elbow. It's Parker outside. The rebound by Gibson. For Minnesota, they've gone 6 of 14 shooting the ball since the start of the game. Carter with the block. And here we go with Allen running it up the court. Here's Parker and the dunk by Parker. Well executed. And then you love the strong finish. Yes, you love that they're not settling for anything outside the paint. Excellent work getting right to the tin. Wiggins kicks to Covington. Teague the pass to Towns. Right side Gibson. Timberwolves passing it around. Teague against Dunn. Dunn with some nice D. And here's Dunn. He'll bring it up for the Bulls. It's a five-point game. Back to Allen. Covington with a steal. Wiggins passes to Covington. The kick out to T. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. Bobby Portis has checked in for Chicago. Markinen comes in for Jabari Parker. Timberwolves also changing it up. Sharch has checked in for Gibson. And Jones subbed in for Jeff T. Pass to Portis. And the rejection by Town. Well, his value to this team on both ends. Not many guys can defend the perimeter and the rim the way Towns can. Wiggins, good, and the assist goes to Towns. Wiggins has got his second basket of the game. Chicago leading by three. Passes it to Markinen. Pass to Levine. To the inside. Here's Allen. That shot off. The Timberwolves go the other way with it. They come into this one following a loss to the Thunder. Yeah, and you hate to lose the kind of game where it just seems like it gets away from you. They played good basketball for most of it, but then just collapsed and opened that door for the comeback. Portis kicks to Dunn. Allen outside. Left side, Portis. In the corner, it's Levine. Here's Dunn. Busts the J after the KG pass fake. Dunn's got six points. Now the defense has to be better. Dunn is such a quick release on these mid-range jumpers. Here's Towns and the dunk by Towns. 
I'll tell you guys, what a delivery on that lead pass. He puts it right where his teammate can go get it. Dunn passes to Portis. Dunn kicks to Levine. Here's Allen. Shoots over Covington. Allen, that's good. Allen's got his third bucket of the night. Well, everyone knows how big a name Nike is in the NBA. They announced recently that their newest team member is going to be AI. Big moment for that young man. With AI's charisma and appeal as a player, it's easy to see why Nike wasted no time, Greg, signing him to a shoe deal. Here's Towns. It's rebounded by Portis. They hold the early advantage on the glass. They get a hand on it. Allen dishes to Levine, kicks it to Dunn. To the inside, Towns with the steal. To the paint, here's Jones. That ball's ice feed that time from Wiggins. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Anthony Towns, one of the most prolific three-point shooters in the league. And so in the game for the Timberwolves, Teague is at the point with Wiggins at the two. Gorgie Dang is out there with Taj Gibson, and it's Covington in at the three slot. Jang finds Teague. It's Covington on the wing. Good on the three-point shot. Covington's got five now. And Down said he'd emulate Kevin Durant as a kid playing on the perimeter at Kentucky. Uh, Cal made him play inside, work in the post, and use his size. So go going back to his roots with his three-point shooting, with the association experiencing a three-point renaissance, and he really does fit the mold. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Hi, Kevin. Well, AI in their last time out against the Cavaliers lit up the floor. He finished with 39 points and played tremendous defense as well, really causing havoc on both ends of the floor. The stat line was filled, and the whole league is talking about it. We'll see what he does for an encore tonight, Kevin. All right, David, thank you, guys. Could you believe that performance? Wow! I mean, it was really something to see. I mean, he showed everybody just how special he is when he is on his game. Well, that was an elite performance, and it didn't seem to matter what approach they used to try to slow this guy down. He had an answer for everything. Teague, the pass to Gibson. Back to Teague. And it's slammed in by Teague. How about the little man's ability to get up? What a vertical by Jeff T. The Bulls leading by six. Don attacking. And Gordy Jang is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Parker. He had 16 points in the win against Cleveland. Yeah, Kev, he was a standout on the backboards that night and got a number of big rebounds. Clock at four. They've been doing a lot of things right in this game, but something they have to improve on is their ball security. You know, after not scoring a single point in the first quarter, they're still feeding him, and he's showing his appreciation. the middle. Here's Allen, and it's good on the assist by Parker. Parker's got three assists tonight. Well, you've got to look at this guy's shooting as one of the main reasons they've been able to build this lead. T kicks to Zhang. And a wide open look here for Wiggins. That three off the mark. And it's Parker with the ball, bringing it up for the Bulls. Six-point lead. They've got the Wizards ahead of them. Their next game in Washington. And that'll be the first of a two-game road trip for them. Fires the three. And the basket for the fourth time from the field. He's a healthy four for six. I'll tell you, they're willing to give him that shot. And he takes advantage of it. Teague finds Jang. Higgins against Levine, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. 
Andrew Wiggins, the, the number one overall pick back in 14. Great bloodlines, the son of pro athletes. The game just seems to come easy to him. You know, Greg, the game comes so easy to Wiggins, but some say he needs to be more assertive, more aggressive. Do you see that? I mean, high expectations for a player that was taken first overall. The length and athleticism should enable him to impact the game in so many ways, but, you know, his motor doesn't always rev high enough to take advantage. Covington passes to Teague. Overdone. Misses off the right iron. Boy, the way he's been going, he is not going to be the guy to turn this around. Over T. That's good from Dunn on the assist by Allen. Allen's got three assists tonight. Yeah, Chris Dunn navigating traffic with that tight handle of his. Wiggins kicks to Gibson. Wiggins outside. The pass to Teague. Jang the pass to T. Jabari Parker comes up with the rebound. Parker's got rebound number eight now on the night. And Levine, here we go. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Carter dish it to Allen. Pass to Parker. Let's it go from 11, and the Bulls tack on two more. I'll tell you, what a start in the first quarter, and now he's taking it to a new level here in the second. So the Timberwolves called their first timeout. In Odoris for a long time, few people realized how efficient the three-point shot can be, the extra point making such a difference. Uh, why do you think it took a while for that thought process to hold? Well, I think obviously we have advanced metrics and the reason we have advanced metrics is there are more ways to monitor the things that happen between the lines right there are cameras everywhere we can track people's data uh, via computer programs but I think one of the interesting things to me Kevin is that Steph Curry really has changed the logistics of what defines a quality shot here's a guy who steps across half court and when he does he's in range so the influence of Steph Curry cannot be understated Great example. Allen outside. Outside Levine. Back to Allen. On the wing Levine. Covered by Wiggins. Here's Dunn. Another three for Chicago. Don't you just love Chris Dunn delivering in these tight spots, using that fast release to get his shot off quickly. Levine against Wiggins. He kicks to Covington. Outside Gibson. The Timberwolves need to get a shot off here. A three-pointer. Wiggins. No good that time. And it's Chicago the other way. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Count that one. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Covington against Allen. And here's Covington. Five points in the game. They need this. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Covington's got his third basket of the night. That's his second bucket from range this quarter after hitting none in the first. Dunn kicks to Allen. Carter outside. Back to Allen. He dishes it to Carter. And it's Parker in the corner. That's in. Coming off an assist from Dunn. Dunn's got three assists tonight. Boy, every time he goes up now, it just looks like the shot's going in. He's perfect from the field in this quarter. Teague up top. Dunn covering. Outside Teague. Over Parker. Got a piece of it. The Bulls leading by 15. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Allen's shot is off. Minnesota shooting 46% on their attempts in the second quarter. Here's Teague. 
Six points for him. Pass to Wiggins. Over Levine. Nice fake there to create the shot, but it's no good. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So. We're getting back to the action now. It's been a one-team show so far. We'll see if that changes here in the third. You know, Jabari Parker has been exceptional here today, guys. Oh, well, they've done a good job of letting the game come to them and really few four shots here so far. I think, Greg, we're seeing a couple of things. Terrific play calling, unselfish nature, and quality shooting. That makes for good offense. Don and Levine are the guard set. Parker out there with Allen, and it's Carter in at the five spot. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Here's Allen. It's deflected, and he gets it back. Kick out to Levine. Allen inside, defended by Covington. Allen, that's good. Allen's got his team on the board first here in the second half for the Bulls. Timberwolves trail by 17. Pass to Towns. Teague surveying the D. Towns down low. Carter on him. And Towns the bucket on the assist by Teague. Boy, the score would look a lot different if his teammates could have had the kind of night he's had. Dunn passes to Carter. To the paint. Here's Allen. And the whistle blows, so a chance here for a three-point play. I think the one constant with Tom Thibodeau is you can always hear his voice the entire game. Doesn't matter if you're up 20 or down 20, you will hear Tom Thibodeau on the sideline. T kicks to Wiggins. Fades. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Parker's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Wiggins against Levine. Parker outside. Three-pointer. Carl Anthony Towns with the rebound. And so it's Teague with it. He'll bring it up for the Timberwolves. Trailing by 17. He tries for three. Carter pulls it in. Well, you, you see the struggles he's having getting anything to go. Yeah, I mean, he's obviously cold right now, but he's trying to find that rhythm. You've got to keep working. Towns with the steal. A three-pointer. Wiggins, it's good from long range. Wiggins has got 12 points in the game. No terrific timing on that catch and shoot. Wiggins in complete command. And it's Allen on the win. Back to Dunn. Bulls moving the ball around. Allen outside. Kicks to Parker. Fires from 18. That's short off the rim. Well, the defense trying to get out on him, but he's left with the open shot. He's got to make that one. And it's Wiggins missing. Yeah, and something we always talk about, though, shot selection. Yeah, that's not a good example right there. You could have worked it around to get a better opportunity. And he can smell blood in the water. Excellent finish. I'll tell you, you've got to admire the energy. This guy really wants to put this one away. Minnesota calls timeout. You know, Doris, when the defense is cutting lanes off, it's so great to have the floater in your arsenal, something that can loop it up and over these guys, which clog the area you want to go into. And there are a lot of guys that really utilize that well. I'll tell you, and the ones that have both hands at their disposal are especially dangerous. So you see Steph Curry warm up with all kinds of floaters and awkward spins and things of that nature, and he can finish with either hand. Kyrie Irving can get any place he wants on the dribble and, if necessary, pull that floater out of the bag of tricks. And then you think of the assassin out there in Portland, Damian Lillard. Woo -hoo -hoo, get inside the free throw line, put that soft touch on it. You know it's coming down on your head. So fun to see. And here's Covington from the arc and another three for Minnesota. Their three-point percentage has taken a big leap here in this second half. Lopez kicks to Markinen and the pass to Levine. Covington against Allen. 
out to the wing. Pass to Levine. Six to shoot. Kicks it out to Markinen. Over Shorich. And he overshot that one, missing. He does everything right except drain the shot. It's hauled in by Dunn. Dunn's got eight rebounds in this game. Allen outside with the shot. That's in, coming off an assist from Dunn. Dunn's got his fourth assist in this one. Timberwolves trail by 15. Jones with it. Now guarded by Dunn. And here's the fast break. Dunn leading the way. Second chance shot. And the rejection by Towns. They retain possession. Levine kicks to Dunn. Down to five on the shot clock. But Trey, they grab their own miss. Missed it, even after all those chances. Sharich against Markinen. Jones finds Sharich. Now Covington, back to Sharich. Down low. Here's Covington. And that one hits back iron. The Bulls leading by 15. Levine dishes to Allen. Wasted no time on that one. Allen's got 10 points now just in this quarter. Boy, what has gotten into him? He's taken his game to an unreal level this quarter. Covington against Allen. Fires it up. Covington shot is off. The Bulls have gone 6 of 14 since halftime. A little cold from the field. Dunn passes to Allen. Outside, Levine. That's him. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. Minnesota calls timeout. Well, I mean, he needs to talk to his guys. The interior defense has been horrific. Absolutely no rim protection whatsoever. At this point, the other team is walking all over them. And so in the game for the Timberwolves, Teague is at the point with Wiggins at the two. Taj Gibson is out there with Gorgie Dang, and it's Covington in at the three. He kicks it to Jang. Five to shoot. To stop the drought. And that one off the back of the rim and in. The Bulls leading by 11. To the left wing. Down low. Allen in the post. Defended by Covington. Allen, that's good. I tell you what, his accuracy has been the story of this game. No doubt. I mean, he's doing his best to guide his team to victory. Superb job shooting the ball in this final period. Master Wiggins. Carter pulls it in. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Parker finds Allen. Pass to Levine. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. Allen's shot is off. And it's Teague with the ball, but he brings it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. And there's the pass to Chang. Got a piece of it. Wiggins against Levine. Teague for three. The shot that time, not on target. And it's Chicago the other way. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Carter kicks to Dunn. Allen inside, defended by Covington. Got a hand on it. Wiggins outside, shot from 12. Good, he hits the jump shot. 
Oh, really smooth. Andrew Wiggins with the terrific mid-range game. The Bulls leading by 11. At the elbow, it's Allen. Teague against Dunn. Back to Allen. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. That free throw good from Allen. When it comes to building confidence doors, some people say playing one-on-ones in practice is a huge help. Is that something that you did when you were playing at Providence? Kevin, I believe this could be the single greatest development tool for any individual player. If you start at the free throw line and play one-on-one -on -one against a player who's maybe slightly above your level or certainly at your level, and you limit that one-on-one -on -one from the free throw line to two dribbles or less, your skill set, I promise you, is going to develop. Hmm. The other thing I would encourage young players to do is play three-on-three -three because it forces you to move and to cut and to screen and how to do those things properly if you're going to be effective. I love one-on-one, two-on-two, three-on-three. It always helps you when you go back to the 505. Five. Such great advice. It's Parker outside. And again, no good by Chicago. Timberwolves trail by 11. Teague with the ball. Inside. Marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. And really a good job spotting his teammate near the bucket and then just pinpoint passing for the finish. Here's Carter. And again, Chicago. No good. Teague the pass to Covington and Parker with the block. And he gets it back. Up top, Jang, defended by Carter. Wiggins against Levine. Another shot. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. And a chance now to take a look at the schedule for the Chicago Bulls. On Friday, they'll go up against Bradley Beal and the Washington Wizards. Then on Sunday, they'll be matching up against Kyle Lowry and the Toronto Raptors. And for the matchup with the Pacers, that's a contest that could easily go either way. Small mistakes could be the difference, and both teams will need to be at their best. Minnesota making a switch here. Towns has checked in. Out to Parker. Pulls up on the wing. Good for his eighth field goal. He's attempted a dozen shots. Defensively, this is what you know. He's coming off a hot game and looking to keep it rolling. Well, you want to slow this man's roll right now if you're the defense because you've got to make somebody else beat you. He's cooking right now. Covington dishes to Gibson, and the layup is good. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Dunn kicks to Parker. Allen outside. Fouled in the act of shooting. A three-point play chance coming up. Well, Mouse in the house. He recognizes the size advantage and goes right to the rim. Good aggressive play. Allen no good on the free throw. He's forcing the action now, finally getting to the charity stripe after no freebies in the first half. And it's Wiggins missing. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Allen kicks to Dunn. Parker surveying the floor. Levine, the bounce pass. Allen passes to Dunn. And he uses the glass on the layup. And the Bulls lead by 13. That's just unreal body control. Chris Dunn really showing up the D with that shot. Levine against Wiggins. From 17 feet out, it's hauled in by the Bulls. Carter's got four rebounds in this game. Well, it's been an up-and-down quarter for him on the offensive end. Mostly down, though. Yeah, affecting the shot in a big way there. Excellent defense. Well, you talk about getting into the space of the shooter. This is how you defend the paint. And so it's Teague with it. He'll bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. It's a 13-point game. Ball's knocked loose and stolen by Dunn. It's stolen by T. Wiggins against Levine. The kick out to T. Back to Wiggins. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. 
Wiggins has got four points now in the quarter. Outstanding pass. He reads the play as it develops, and his lead pass is absolutely perfect. Dunn passes to Carter, and then Carter with the dunk. Yeah, that's just a nice pass. This was one of college basketball's premier playmakers. Dunn showing great vision. Teague finds Towns. Back to Teague. Lock at six. Done with some nice D. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Allen, that's good. And it's Levine with the assist. Levine's got five assists tonight. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Towns against Carter. Towns, the pass to Covington. Yes, that goes in. Covington's got 19 points. The Bulls leading by 13. Dunn kicks to Parker. Dishes it to Allen. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. They're doing well overall, but the turnovers have been the exception. Covington. Pass to Wiggins. And there's the foul. It'll go on AI. That's his first foul. And stolen by Dunn. He's really taking care of the ball. That's just his first turnover of the night. Allen dishes to Parker. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. That one is on Towns. And last summer, Minnesota's front office saying, Doris, they would like the Wolves to lean more on their bench. It would be nice for Coach Tom Thibodeau to have the luxury of guys coming off the bench that he can trust. You've got to fortify the bench and then trust them to perform. Here's Allen, and there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And Minnesota gets called for the foul. And Allen drops them both. Now here's Teague. And the Timberwolves call time here. chance to check out some of the tremendous play tonight from our Jordan player of the game. And guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. Jabari Parker comes up with the rebound. Parker's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Allen passes to Dunn. to the inside. There's Allen. That's good on the assist from Dunn. Dunn's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Timberwolves trail by 18. T kicks to Towns. Allen against Covington. Feeds it to Gibson. Back to Covington. Out to the wing. Shot clock at five. They get a hand on it, and stolen by Dunn. Passes to Allen. 139 left in the game. The shot will not fall. T kicks to Covington. The league is always looking for ways to adjust the rules, make them better. There's a committee that studies this every single year, and 
you know, with that in mind, Doris, any rules you think they, they should alter or tweak? Yeah, there's absolutely one, Kevin, and I think this goes to the point where perhaps we can have some more uniformity in the FIBA ruled games that are played and the NBA. And there's one thing that's occurred in international play where players are becoming more athletic and the opportunity for electric stuff to happen in transition is critical. To me, we have got to stop the intentional fouls which are prohibiting fast breaks and all the potential for the explosive, exciting athleticism to be on display. So that, to me, is something we've got to address. I'm with you. Here's Allen. Connects with the leader. Allen's got 35. Up by double digits, little time remaining. Way to defend your house. Well, this is what you call taking care of your business, showing dominance on their home floor. What an excellent effort. Here's Towns on target from 13 feet. And hey guys, you got to ask, where was this effort when it mattered? The game's over now. Right. Frustrating for sure, Greg. I don't think they'll be able to mount a comeback at this point. Allen kicks to Dunn. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Parker outside. Down low. It's deflected. And here is Teague. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate 